Hello and welcome to our first Microsoft Teams training video. This training video will go through how to log in and some of the key features you will be using. More videos and resources will follow to help you get the very best out of the platform. So to begin with, you will need to go to the Exeter Cathedral School website. On the website, you will need to go to ECS Learning at Home and click you will then need to enter your ECS Office 365 email and password that you have recently received. Once signed in, you will need to go to Teams. This will open up your virtual classroom. Here, under the Teams section, you will find all of your classes. We're going to look at a training class to give you a better idea of exactly what you will see. In my training class, you will see messages like this one from your teacher. You will see assignments, otherwise known as lesson work, and virtual lessons from your teacher will appear here as well. They will, you will be able to join live lessons and your teacher will also record any live lessons for you and they will appear on this page. The live lessons will be run according to your timetable, which can be found in the calendar section on the left toolbar, which is here. At the top of this page, you will see posts. This is where we are now, and this is where all of the information about your learning will be stored. Files, this is where your teacher will store files to help with your learning. Class notebook is where you will complete work virtually. This can be in relation to a class assignment that has been set. Assignments, this is where your lesson work will be kept. You will also get a message on this page highlighting any new work set. And grades, this is where you'll get feedback on your work. The assignment. Lesson work to understand how to use Teams. If I click here, I can see exactly what my teacher expects me to do. Here I can see more instructions. About, my, about the lesson, I can see a due date, I can see a PowerPoint that has been uploaded to help with my learning, and I can add my work on this tab. I can also, if I want to, use Class Notebook, and I will be providing more training for how to use this. But very quickly, if I open up my Class Notebook, which is my virtual notebook, I click here, I click on my name, I go to class notes. I am able to write, like I would do in a normal lesson, the date, the lesson objective, and my ideas. And this is stored all in one place for me. A really, really good tool to use for my learning. If I go back to posts, you will see that the teacher has scheduled a lesson for today, a virtual lesson, meeting is another word for a virtual lesson, at 9pm. Now I can guarantee you that you will not be having any lessons at 9pm. However, as an example, this, once the lesson had start, once the lesson is started by the teacher, you will get an option to join. And this will go a dark blue colour and you'll see a button here that says join. You will then see the following screen appear. Here, you can turn your webcam off and your microphone off. Before you join a class live video, can I please ask that you turn your webcam off and you turn your microphone off? Your teacher will be notified that you have joined the class and they will instruct you when to turn your microphone on. Okay, that's a quick run through 
of what Teams looks like, your main page, and some of the key features. There will be more videos and more training to come, but for now, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you online on Thursday.